Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Four to Doomsday Part 2. I hope you're all doing really well if you are new here. My name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me on what is a really cloudy day here. Like super cloudy. Um, but that's just how I like it. I'm so down for autumn weather. I know I said it last time but I'm just here for it. Um, okay, so I kind of am going into this episode a bit like I just don't know what is going to happen. Um, I feel like maybe it's something to do with them being able to read, like put stuff in their minds or them making those people come to life that they imagine, something like that. Also, I had a dream last night that I was with the fourth doctor as he looks when he's the doctor and we were on this we were looking at this bus and joe was there and it was a celebration it was like me saying goodbye to all of us being a tardis team so i was a companion with joe and i was like saying goodbye it was really really bizarre and super realistic but yeah i love it when i have it's not often I have Doctor Who dreams. The last Doctor Who dream I had involved Peter Capaldi. Um, yeah, it's 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 not often I have Doctor Who dreams, but it's because they released that picture last night of the ship above, um, like the Liverpool dockyards. I think it's a Sontaran ship. I I just want to know when it's on. Like I just want to know when Doctor Who is going to be on, especially because I will be reacting to it. I'm kind I kind of feel a bit like I need to put it in my diary guys like just let me know. <laughs> um I mean it's got cuz they just said later this year didn't they like earlier on in the year so it's a bit like I reckon it'll be November. I reckon it'll be November and finish off around Christmas probably. I mean maybe probably not. Oh, I bet it starts the weekend I'm in France. That's going to be a bugger. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's crack on. Meat, if you wish, but you have no need yet. But you have. As you have seen. The dominant emotion on planet Earth is fear. When last we were there, our reception was hostile. Yes, yeah, that doesn't suffice. Well, we must read your history books. You will be welcome to do so. It will be necessary for me to instruct you in our computer languages. One couldn't wish for a more enchanting teacher. A very elevated one. Enlightenment. Minister of Enlightenment. Yeah. We left before the end. In time to escape the black hole. Many of you? Three billion. Three billion? How many ships? One. One? This one. They have been told enough. Yes, well. So they're being stored somewhere. They must be. See that I find that weird that he was the last one in there. Until what? Where are the others? My boy. The rest of the three billion. I'm sure that Monarch or one of his ministers will wish to satisfy your curiosity. I hope we're not putting you out. No, I have no need of this accommodation now. You're with your family. I have no family. Not since I was rescued from Earth a hundred generations ago. Haven't got the foggiest. I do really like the set though. Generations. Seems young for his age, don't you think? But three billion people, how big can this ship be? It's impossible. On the face of it. I want to get out of here. I want to get off the ship. I don't want to be rescued. This doctor interests me more and more. On no account is he to leave. Ew. And now he's blocked out the sound. Here we have a lively intelligence. 
I have eliminated the concept of opposition. I was thinking of bygone, Your Majesty. Bygone cannot oppose. But he does not conform. Well, of course. He's a philosopher and doubter. We need doubt. It's the greatest intellectual galvanizer. With respect, Your Majesty, there is a sensitivity in his persona which suggests what in the flesh time was called soul. It's the first time enlightenment. I've heard you blaspheme. I beg Your Majesty's pardon. They must be lying. Or mad. Three billion people on one ship and never get off the ground. Oh, of course they're mad. Hundred generations on this thing, they've got to be mad. She doesn't talk Unless it's like the minds of people. Comes to the same thing. Or something. Do you know there are at least three billion bacteria in this chamber alone? And if a frog with a funny head who can turn itself into a semblance of a human being in a matter of minutes, there isn't much of a limit to what it can't do. And four earthlings. Why? Wait a minute, wait a minute. How long is 100 generations? What's generation in years? Well, call it 25. 2,500 years. Right. Right. So, it's at least 2,500 years since our hosts last visited Earth when they rescued Bygan. Now, if the return journey to a banker takes the same time as the journey to Earth... How's your ancient history, Tegan? Like I feel? Awful. Well, not to worry. Mine's pretty good. Now... What action shall I take, Your Majesty? None. He will take the action. He has a sonic device, primitive but effective. You want to explore. Arrange a recreational uh, to divert him, but keep him separated from the boy or girl. They will tell me more about this doctor than he will himself. What shall we do? Come on. No, don't follow the doors that they're opening. So the plants, the people. Plants carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. The plants give off oxygen. It's got to be related, surely. Put your mask, put the helmets on. Honestly, I'm spending most of this episode like, huh? Bygone's risking his life unless they've told him to do that.
not say I share your taste in entertainment. It is not as it seems. He's not really dead. Okay, so there's still a lot to take in. So, what's his name? Bygone? So they are not, he is not what he was. He, he's not human anymore. He's essentially like a chip. Um, I liked the whole lifting of the face thing. In some weird way, I was like, is he going to reveal that he's a Cyberman when he like opened his chest? But I still don't understand how there's three billion, unless it is something to do with they are organisms that are being grown, or I suppose they've got three billion chips. Um, it's really interesting, this dynamic, because they keep splitting them into the Doctor and Tegan and Adric and Nyssa. Yes, I think that's because Tegan doesn't have the science behind her, so she's safer with the Doctor. But part of me feels like it's almost setting up as well that Tegan will remain with the Doctor and Nissa and Adric will go on their separate ways. That's kind of how I feel like they're setting it up a bit. Um, I Someone commented on um, my state of decay reaction that this was the first story the doctor filmed and i said that in the first part i just i could tell by his hair and i guess the freshness but actually i think he's got into his role really really quickly i'm not watching him thinking oh he looks uncomfortable or oh i don't really think he knows that his role yet i'm i'm super comfortable watching this doctor so that's really lovely and actually, I'm really happy that we had um, companions carry over. That's always my concern when when doctors go, which part, for me feels is part of the reason why it's a bigger move, isn't it? When like uh, the eleventh doctor came in, because it was like a whole new team, and the same with the thirteenth doctor. So that was such a ramble but basically i like that we had the same companions carry over and seeing their dynamic with the fifth doctor i think i've just really grown to like the fifth doctor really quickly but again i think that is because it was just it was a it was the right time for the fourth doctor to go you know i'm not i haven't mourned the fourth doctor the same way that i did the third because I wanted more time with the third, but with the fourth, it was like, you've, you've done your time. We've had enough time with you. Like, I'm, I'm ready. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what the fifth doctor brings. Um, and I'm excited to see where this story goes because the title still for to doomsday is still not, still not the best title. Uh, I think bygone's going to be in trouble now. I don't know. I don't know if we will end up on Earth. Probably not. Probably stay on the ship. 
but I always just find it interesting to try and think how things will resolve themselves and I never know because I'm not a Doctor Who writer and I don't I'm not clever enough but yeah I don't I don't know how this will end right unless he unless the Doctor like re um what's the word like does something to the the chip that's inside of them anyway thank you so much for joining me I will see you very soon for the next episode.